Hi, this is Randall with Carter Hill Honeybees. Today's Monday, May the 11th, 2021. And as you can see right above my head here, got a swarm. It's about 61, 62 degrees. It's real humid, cloudy. Been drizzling most of the day. Property owner here called me a few minutes ago, said he come through and saw this swarm hanging here. So I was pretty much through uh, filming swarms for the spring. I about showed every way I know to catch them, but I wanted to share an experience. Uh, dealt with Friday afternoon I caught two swarms but what I want to share is out of one of my queen rearing colonies Friday I had a swarm about this height at home and I used my scoop and score can to to reach up here barehanded shook them off and a, a good couple, double handful of bees fell on my hand the bees wasn't aggressive like they wasn't trying to get me or, or, or get in my face but uh for whatever reason, when they landed on my hand, I took 12 stings on my hand. It was kind of intense, I ain't gonna lie about it. 12 good stings that I had to hold my can up there a few seconds and then to ease it down and dump it in my hive before I could deal with the, the stings. But my hand swelled up pretty good. It resembled basically a, a rubber glove if you blew it up. I uh, couldn't close my hand all the way Friday night, but I still got several red marks here. But it, I, I counted 12 sting sites on it so the reason i want to share that with you i know a lot of times we all shoot videos and stuff but you know doing this stuff barehanded and, and most of the time it's fine but you know if you're a little bit sensitive to stings or whatever when you're catching swarms you know it's probably a good idea to go ahead and glove up and i'll definitely be doing that most of the time it was a pretty good sized swarm so that, that's just part of you know part of beekeeping getting stung like that but uh, that, i don't like to get stung 12 times in a row kind of calm the, the bees look like they camped out for the night i don't even know how long they've been up here so i'm gonna go ahead and capture this i'm gonna use my scoop and score bucket and i am gonna put on gloves today and i'm gonna ease it up here and rack the bees in here and then i'll dump them in the hive so we'll get started try these up in here get up underneath it Well, that went much better than Friday. Yeah, these bees are a little bit ill. I can smell alarm pheromone in here. It kind of smells like bananas. The bees are not really fanning. They're a little bit ill. Day like today, uh, you definitely want to take precaution when catching a swarm. And I actually see the queen right there. Well, they've kind of calmed down now and they're not really trying to get at me or hit me in the face anymore. They're fanning on the box good. I'm now smelling nasing off. Well, that's pretty easy, straightforward caps. And I'll take this home and put, add it to my queen production yard. And I'll use it to make bees from a split. So I think this will make 13 or 14 colonies I've got for that now. So I've got foundation here. I'm going to let them draw it out. I'm going to feed it along with the other swarms. I'm going to feed them some sugar water and let them draw some cones for me. Swarms are really good for drawing cones and I'm going to try to take advantage of that. Well, anyway, I appreciate you for joining me today for this little swarm catch and we'll see you the next time.